Hello guys, Rush here with a new Minecraft Redstone video. So, uh, I've been in a little bit of an elevator phase, and what I mean by that is that I've kind of been a little obsessed with elevators. Um, I know I haven't made elevators in uh, the past before on my channel, so this is kind of my first uh, elevator video, but... I've, uh, for the past couple of weeks, I've been designing and creating different elevator designs, and this is one that I really like here that I'm showing you today. Um, it uses the new, um, redstone blocks in 1.5, and, um, some other cool features that I'm about to show you. So, it's not the best elevator possible, or it's not, like, um, an amazing elevator, I would say. Um, which is why I'm doing a showcase, but um, I'm just going to show it to you. So, uh, one of the downsides to this is that you have to manually place blocks. It is a one-way uh, elevator, only brings you up. Um, and then, so you place your blocks down there. And then when you click the button here, you just hop on here and get lifted up. There we go. So then, once you're done here, you just click the button, then you have to break the blocks, and from there you're done. So let's just hop back down here. So this is a um, 30 blocks high elevator that I made. It's pretty fast, I mean. And to show you kind of what it looks like um, from out here, how fast it's actually going. Um, it's a little bit laggy because of uh, the recordings, but that's what how fast it's going from um, just kind of looking up at it. Now, um, if I switch to survival, another downside to this is that if you stand in the center here in survival, uh, you will actually take a little bit of fall damage, but by standing to the sides here, um, you won't take any damage at all, so... Let's do game mode survival here. So click the button. And if I stand in the corner here, say I don't take damage, but if I stand in the center here, I do take a little bit of damage. If you heard that, then that was my cell phone. I just got a text message. I'm so popular. Game mode creative. So yeah, let's get on to kind of uh, what this looks like without any of these decorations or fancy things. Okay, so this is what everything looks like uh, without any of the blocks that I built around it. Um, as you can see, it is only three wide. The elevator itself without any of uh, the stuff on bottom here and the... Um, Starting mechanism is actually very simple. Uh, it's essentially just a button that wires up into these two pistons here with a small extender, um, pulse extender on the sides. But uh, just to show you quickly kind of how it works, um, it uses the redstone blocks here to get the pistons on the side to push it upwards. So as you can see there, well, it's kind of hard to see, at least from my... Uh, point of view here. I'm not sure if it's any better in the recording, but yeah, so basically how it works is it completely uses the redstone blocks to power itself. As you can see, if there's no redstone blocks here, then it will simply not work. So, um, kind of an idea on how this works is if you have redstone block on top of a piston like this and you update the piston it will push up the blocks like so so what happens here is when we push out these pistons on the side it's going to push up the block and then um, we take the signal from here and we bring it into these pistons on the side here uh, to cause uh, these sticky pistons on the side to push out more of these pistons propelling uh, the blocks upward, as you can see. And I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, we also use 
pistons on the side here to update the side pistons and I'll also be teaching you guys how to build this um, kind of in a smaller scale uh, just to show you but yeah I mean like um, I just have a timed out repeaters here to go into this line right here which is going to cause all the pistons to go up and it's pretty cool I mean right there sent up these pistons automatically get pushed out due to the redstone blocks push them all out like so break them and you're done uh, so I guess if you wanted to build this in a survivor map that would work or if you wanted to build this in single player because I mean it is pretty compact and fast then what I would recommend is you'd have dispensers on the bottom here that have these two blocks like cobblestone blocks of redstone you click a button dispenser shoots out the necessary materials so you can automatically go to placing them you push the button um, another thing is you must place these button these redstone blocks fast because if you don't then that happens which you don't want so you can avoid that by placing them fast so by clicking the button that's gonna send the elevator upwards and then once you get to the top here um, push the button to break the blocks and you can collect the drops you can drop them down somewhere and we'll uh, go into a set of hoppers to refill uh, the dispensers on bottom so now how now now that all of this is explained uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a smaller scale of this okay we're back and I'm gonna show you how to make a smaller scale of this this is just gonna be a four block um, elevator so you're gonna start off with sticky pistons um, spaced apart from each other four blocks okay you're gonna have obsidian behind it, this you can also use um, furnaces as an alternative uh, you just need a block that will not move um, that will basically is stationary so um, next what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna put regular pistons all the way stacking up to the top like so and you're gonna put obsidian or furnaces over the top like this so now actually I'm gonna raise this up one more like that okay now you're gonna have run repeaters into these pistons right here because essentially this is what's gonna cause the pistons to go up here next um, when you place your blocks here which are the blocks that are needed to actually start the elevator uh, this is where you're going to actually place out a row here so you're gonna start with a 2x2 two two here like that or um, not a 2x2 two two, but a 2x4 set the day okay you're gonna have um, regular pist pistons facing upwards like that with repeaters going into it like that and now you're also gonna need one more thing which is an upside down slab a staircase also works upside down staircase also works or glowstone but I recommend upside down slabs right there and then we're just gonna wire this all up, up like so and from here we're gonna place blocks on the side here and on this first row this is the first row only you're gonna have um, repeaters right here set to three ticks but this is only on the first level level here you'll see what I do on the second level here but then you just place blocks up like that to wire it all up and we have that next for the second row we do the exact same thing here um, now the only difference is, um, let me put these pistons here first, and uh, that should be, oh, that needs to be right here. Okay, so now the only difference is on these sides here, you're going to have these repeaters set to two ticks, okay? Now, from here on now from the second floor on and up it's going to be two ticks so if you look over here you can see this first row is three ticks then two 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 all the way up for the rest of the way 
and that is how you make that. So now, um, let's get in a button here. Um, there you go. Oh, I did not grab that. Uh, but we are not finished yet. There's uh, some more things we need to add, and what we need to do here is see where um, this piece of redstone goes into. We're going to make a 2 by 3 platform here. We're going to cut out the middle, add in a repeater, set it to 4 ticks, and loop it all around. And we're going to do this all the way. Make a 2 by 3, cut out the middle, set that to 4, like that. And we're going to do that on the other side. And there we go. Now, last thing, I promise you. Uh, we're going to add sides on here, and you'll see why in a second. Um, we're going to add a repeaters on these sides right here, set to four ticks, and we just wire it up like that. And that is how you make it. So now when I push this button, you can see that our blocks get pushed upwards. Now, if uh, these weren't here on the sides, then essentially this is what would happen we click the button and the blocks go up here but these um, pistons right here do not retract which is not good so that's why we have that there and um, of course if you wanted to um, added the final the pistons at the end here you could also do that too And these should automatically get pushed out kind of like a mini staircase because of um, these redstone blocks on top. But there you go. That is how to make um, kind of my elevator, my redstone block elevator. I don't know what I want to call it. Uh, Russia's Minecraft elevator. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like videos like this, redstone videos like this, then please do check out my channel because I do like stuff like this uh, all the time. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos, and have a nice day. See you guys later. Bye-bye.